สมุทรคือเทคทัมนะฮะ so how about let's look at thirty five thirty five so the nation k minus square root k k from two to infinity No, I'm sorry. Two k minus k, so it's k from one, one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so this is my a k. A k is this one. Again, I'm going to use limit comparison test. Okay. Because limit comparison is so easy to use, I just have to take the limit. So, but I can use either. Uh, this group is you, you know, either use comparison test or you use limit comparison test. And I normally I really like limit comparison test because it's just take limit. And normally you can guess what B sub k is. So what should be B sub k? Well, again, if do this analysis of what I did before. If when k is very, very large, 2k is going to dominate square root of k. Right. Think about it. If k is one hundred, if k is one hundred, square root of k is what? Ten. Two k will be two hundred. Right. So if k is if when k gets larger, two k is going to dominate this. So I'm going to just okay. Two k is going to dominate this. But then the, before I put on a test. Do I know if this is convergent or divergent? No. This series This series Okay <laughs> Is what? Divergent This one again from Tuesday's lecture, this is P series where P is equal to 1. So it's divergent. Right? Remember the P series? The P series only the P series is one. The P series test now, just remember. Re refresh it. Right? K to the P. Right? So K to the P. So P if P is bigger than 1. Is convergent. If p is less or equal to one, divergent. That's p series test, which we talk about uh, Tuesday. Okay. All right. So I know, but then so I all I need to do is just take the limit of this and uh, see if they equal to a number that's not zero. Okay. So there's a limit, k goes to infinity, and this is 1 over 2k minus square root of k, this is 1 over 2k. So again, by the algebra that we talked about before, this is 2k over 2k minus square root of k. Okay, so I'm taking the so now both go to infinity. When k goes to infinity, this goes to infinity, this goes to infinity. So we use Lotto's rule. So then you see we use Lotto's rule a lot when we do this rule problem. Okay, so the real 2k is 2. That k that is 2. Uh, minus, how about this one? This is k to the 1 half, right? So minus 1 half k to the Okay, no problem. So I'm going to just um, <coughs> well, actually before I do anything, I could have uh, cancel something. Uh, then do the do the limit. Uh, actually, that might be e easier. Okay, might be easier. So what well, same thing? Same thing. So this is the same thing. So this is. Now that's the same thing. 
that's two over two by one half, that's one over two k square root of one half. Now for k go to infinity, k go to k square root of k go to infinity, one over infinity is going to zero. So I have two over two minus zero, which is two over two, which is one. One is not zero. So again, by limit the comparison test, either both of them are coming, a diverging, a convergent or divergent. Okay. So again, those things, uh, B K is divergent. Okay. Therefore, A K is divergent two. Is divergent. And this is what we want. We want to prove this. Okay. Now, why is that we want to know whether a series is converging or divergent? This is because in the real world, real world, only convergent series has application, has, has physical application. Others doesn't have application. So it's very important if I have a series, the first thing I want to know is whether it is converging or divergent. If it's conversion, good, we use it. If it's diversion, we save it. Away. Okay, so that's why we need to know this. Alright, let's go to 8.6, okay? <coughs> this is should be 11. In one step, we'll talk about uh, a, 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 a test called alternating series test. Alternating series test. Alternating series test. Alternating series test. Now, alternating what? Alternating what? Alternating signs. Signs means positive, negative, positive, negative, okay? So, it says that for ourselves, so, so a series like, so example, what is an alternating series? Well, you have one minus one half plus one third minus a quarter, and so on. That, this means the sum may be positive or negative. Is alternating. This is positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Of course, it can be the other way. I can maybe minus, uh, you know, two, okay, plus four minus eight plus sixteen, and so on. it could be start with negative. But whether it start with positive or negative, alternating means the signs. Change from ten to ten, so plus minus plus minus plus minus, and all minus plus minus plus minus. Okay, that's alternating what means signs. So this is a special test <coughs> reserved for the series that's alternating. So if a series is not alternating, this method doesn't work. Okay, this this method only for this. So what is the test? Okay, so support. So, okay, so before we go on, um, we usually, okay, note a word of notation, we denote uh, the alternating series. Negative one to the k, a sub k. Or you could start with uh, k plus one. Or and where a sub k are all positive. Okay. 
normally we do not bag this. Why? Because if the, in the first case, when k is 1, right, it's minus, so it's minus a1 plus a2 minus a3 and so on. For the second case, if k is 1, that's 2, minus 1 squared is 1. So this is a1 minus a2 plus a3. Okay, you see? Either one, if I write minus 1 to the k, then the first one, if k is not with 1, the first one is negative. I write, if, if I write that minus 1 to the k plus 1, then the first one from k is 1 is positive. In any case, either of these, the signs alternating, minus plus, minus plus, so on, plus, minus, plus, minus, and this is minus, and then plus, then minus, plus, minus. The sign of alternating, okay? All right, for, the, for this type of series, we have uh, a special test. So given, so this should be four. So given a series or the name series, this simply just means the first term is negative. And this means the first term is positive. Okay, the both are alternating. Even those are the name series. Now, if, now this test, if limit a sub k go to zero, then this series Suppose I have these two alternating, I mean, this, this is really means it's down to negative. This means it's down to positive. So either one, they are alternating series. Suppose I have alternating series such that uh, each case of is positive, such that those AK, they are decreasing. Now, so the test says this. So this is alternating series test. It says that, well, if, if this limit, so this is, this is really the key. If the limit A sub K equal to zero, then submission A, negative K, A, K, the other one is convergent. <sighs> okay. All right, let's look at Now, then I'm going to write a summary for this, okay? So right now, let's do some problem just to get used to, just to know, just to try to understand what this case is about. All right, so I'm looking at A point six, right? Let's look at number 11. All right, I have summation k from 0 to infinity equal to the k over 2k plus 1. 